So the headset just got another update this morning and it's including now the button mapping for the controllers. So when I first got B56, didn't have that. So, you know, the little updates that they talk about, they will release slowly. Um, one weird thing that did happen that I just feel like I should mention is that last night when I turned off the headset, um, everything happened normally. You know, it says that it was going to update and then shut down. But then this morning, when I actually did turn on the headset, uh, my Wi-Fi had been turned off. So I had to just turn it back on and I didn't have to like do anything with the Wi-Fi or put any passwords. It just automatically turned on. But I never turned it off. And it seems like it just turned off on its own. Uh, but then when I checked, I did actually have uh, another add-on to the update. And what I found here is... So as soon as you go into devices and you hit controllers, now you have a new option, which is remap the controller. Now you can also access that in accessibility. So once you hit mobility, for some strange reason, it's also there, remap controller. So you click on it and it shows you this. And I'll be honest with you, I have no intention of changing any of this. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna try to do something with it and see what happens. Um, oh, okay, I see. So I don't understand why you would wanna do this. Uh, especially if you're already used to the controllers the way they are but the idea I guess is that if I click on that now I can turn it so that it's A and this can now be B um, I can change this to any of these buttons if I want I don't want to do that because I'm already used to it um, I'm guessing this is the yeah this is the grip button and this is the trigger button the R and the L are the trigger buttons for some strange reason um right trigger left trigger i guess and you can just you know you change all the buttons if you want i don't want to do that because i already got used to it but the fact is you, know, you can actually do that um it, you know i guess if that's something you want to do might as well uh, i don't see a use for it maybe in certain games if the way they have it set up i don't like i guess i could change it but I would have to change it right before I play the game and then change it back right after. Not really into that. Now, the other thing that they promised, I guess, they promised it, was the ability to go onto uh, Facebook Live, I believe it's called. You, you probably could tell that I have no idea what that is. Um, I'm assuming it's a way to, like... I guess stream live kind of like YouTube I guess but through Facebook I've never used it I've never really heard of it before I have no real use for it so I'm not gonna deal with it but I was checking through to see if it was there and uh, I don't I don't see anything about it so yeah there's that if they do put it out there though I'll, I'll probably get it sooner or later in the next few days I'm sure and if I do see it and it seems like something worth talking about, I'll do that as well. MetaQuest guide. Let's see if they changed it yet. What's new? I know I keep complaining about this, but we're almost in the end of, at the end of August. Uh, a couple more days and it's going to be September. And they still have this as the newest thing. I think when they come out with V57, that's when they'll show this stuff for V56. That's what it seems like to me anyway. But, you know, whatever. I don't actually think this helps that much. I think they rely more on sending this information out to YouTubers um, and let them actually make videos on it months before this comes out. So, yeah, we don't have any of that. But all right. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you. So now if you want, you can change your uh, your button setup. You can change your buttons to whatever you want, I guess. Again, I don't really see a use for it. Um, but yeah, that's what you can do. I mean, I guess, I guess it's not as bad because you can always just reset to default. So if you were to have a particular game that 
for whatever reason you have to like really change up all these buttons I, I don't really see why but maybe you would then you could just quickly reset to default afterwards so you can play you know something else regular uh, but yeah that's what I got for you and uh, what do you think of the view anyway if you enjoyed this video found it informative hit the like button if you want to see more subscribe um, leave me a comment and uh, with any luck I'll see you in the next video and until then take care